so guys welcome to another video on my channel guys and um today you have a lot of females out there not being honest and as a man i am speaking for us and um sometimes you've put um us men in a situation where it's hard for us and then when we make certain type of decision the public or everyone who knows about it starting to talk down on the man and say he's not a good man for this and that now guys um this situation i want to hear your opinion on it all right i want to i want to hear your viewpoint i want to hear everything you feel me i want to tell i want you all to tell me if it is wrong also you feel me so this went viral guys this went viral there's this youtuber with his girl you know wife whatever it is first time seeing the video on his channel but it touched me because i know of other situation where a man recently got himself in trouble in jamaica once where the female supposed to have three kids for him and during the filing process because he's trying to bring them to america to for them to have better life he had to do a dna test because him and that woman never married and after the result came out came out he's not the father for all three kids and he's been taking care of these kids from their child growing up and the, and the female decide not to tell him now what should a man do in a situation like that and 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 and, and the child how would you explain to her that this man is not her father when all she knows is this man and the man get himself in trouble. I won't state what he did. I'm not for it. I did not support it. But you can see why you get a man crazy. Now in this video, I'm going to be reacting to a video where a guy, they're a YouTube couple. You understand? It's a YouTube couple and they have a child. He's excited. But he found out that this child is not his. And the female knew. She knew it wasn't his, but... I guess you want the YouTube money, I want the fame and everything that comes with it. But the guy found out. And you see, us Jamaican relatives sometimes are weak with peer with, with, with family member jacket because you know look, boy, him have your nail, him have your nose, him have this. And um there, there's females out there who know that they have another man father and a child that is not. His and they don't say it. Some people live their entire life and don't even ever find out the truth. Sad. Chrissy, where are they? You understand me? So, let's get into it. It's healthy. We did the screening. Karen's good. She got a big head like her daddy. now guys you've seen that for yourself and that is a man that's building a bond with his family and with his child and one of the greatest joys is to know that you have something out there that you've created and that's a life and you look in his face you see joy and happiness you feel me yeah you look in his face you see joy and happiness all right y'all so uh, i want to say welcome back to my channel obviously this is a little bit different than uh another live video you know what i'm saying i was not expecting to uh have to do this video damn i already getting all this now i didn't even Now, many people may wonder why he took it to social media. Um, I mean, he's a vlogger and he vlogs his entire life. So if this happened, why would he not do that? I have no issue with it. I saw a comment on the channel about it once and I was like, mm, you probably gave your boyfriend or husband some child that's not his anyways. But he lives his life in the public and if something like that happened, 
why not talk about it? But you can see that he's hurt though. And maybe this is a way of this is another way for him to um express himself. Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna skip through this part. I I'm feeling hurt for this man, I don't even know him. You know, fans and supporters that sent gifts uh, to me for, you know what I'm saying, to take care of this beautiful girl, um, London Dior. Um, I will be donating all of the gifts, all of the baby stuff that I've bought, you know, the whole room that I built for this little girl, everything like that. I'll be donating everything to Phoenix organization called Father Matters. Uh, basically what they do is they help single dads with legal stuff. <clears throat> well guys, um, I must say this part. Since you already have it, I can't, this is how he feels and I can't bash it, I can't be mad at it and I have to respect it. Um, I could only say for me, and if I was in that situation, maybe I would do the same thing. But right now, I'm not in that situation. So I'm thinking as a person who is trying to understand his pain, but at the same time, still thinking. Because if the gifts come for the kids and I'm done with the kids, because it seems like that's what happened, I'm just going to give it to the, the kids the same way. I'm going you know, to let, let her have it, still or him have it. I don't know the sex of the baby yet. Um, I think it's a girl. Um, I'm going to let her have it and, you know, that's it. Instead of, you know, I understand you're mad and upset, but uh, I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all think he could have just left her with the gift right there or he's so mad and the girl is so wrong for that, he do whatever. What y'all think? Comment down below. And with housing and custody issues and all of that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you guys, just so you guys know, I'm not just gonna be just throwing away all the stuff that you guys have donated and I truly appreciate it but it'll be going to <clears throat> it'll be going to better you know what I'm saying a better deed to uh, single fathers that can't really provide for themselves basically if you guys know you know what I'm saying if, uh, if you guys know what's going on so I, I recently posted a video probably about a week and a half ago you know what I'm saying and uh I posted a video, basically like um, it was gonna be a series. It was gonna be a part, a part one and a part two. Part one was basically the fact that uh, my uh, alleged daughter, uh, basic her mom's ex-boyfriend, right? Um, London's mom's ex-boyfriend friend had dm me right i know a lot of people get mixed up they think he the ex-boyfriend actually dm me he did not dm me um and uh basically told me like that he's not friends with this person anymore blah blah they made they had zero following zero posts zero followers right so it was this person made this account just to dm me so i knew it was probably something important seen pictures that's the only reason why i even clicked to i even look to click on it like usually i see like random stuff like that and i'm just like you know what it's just a it's just a somebody just hating whatever but for some reason like this one just like i had a feeling to click on it so i clicked on it seen these pictures these side to side pictures right i had got they put london's face and they put this ex-boyfriend's face side to side and for some reason to me it just looked too on point you hear what happened guys so and you know what funny as youtubers as influencers me and my wife we receive a lot of um message from um fake accounts that's what we call them if you don't have a follower if you don't have anything that's a fake account or a burner account and they'll 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 send us information even when i do vlogging for cmr you know so i guess that will happen in them somebody know of him and her and they know the child, it might be the father of the child, the real father, you never know, but it's a burner account and it's a picture of the baby and the real father, supposedly. You understand me? And um, he said the child looked just like the person that's next to the to London, but which is London's a baby. But you see, that would that would pass me, because for some reason, when 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 there's a baby 
I can't really see the resemblance of nobody until that baby starts to develop. I don't know how people spot it real quick, you know, but most times I can't spot it. So a fake account send him the information and leak it. So whoever that fake account is, either they don't like the girl or they just feel like, you know what, I am a real support and I want you to know the truth or they just want to break up a family. However, this is something that the man needs to know. If it's not his child, come on. He needs to know. So if it was something else that the, the fake account did, I would, I would be like, get out of here. You're trying to break this family up. You're trying to do all of that stuff. But yeah, he clicked on it and he never normally clicked on fake accounts. Let's continue. And I've always, if anybody knows, like I've always kind of said, like I don't understand really where my daughter or where London looks like me. Uh, but I, you know what I'm saying, I do know that like girls have like strong genes and Latinas have strong genes. So maybe, you know what I'm saying, it's just a possibility that she's just not going to look like me like that. I never really asked questions. Um, the reason why, so I made this video um, and explained how this dude DM me and basically said like, you know what I'm saying, this ex-boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, London's mom was dating her the same time you was dating her or the same time you was messing with her and I was kind of confused because I literally asked this girl multiple 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 like I don't even know how many times I've asked her hey you know what I'm saying are you sure you never messed with somebody like around the same time you know what I'm saying like it's crazy like because I always like hear people like DM DM me people will comment like be like you might as well get a DNA test blah blah and I never like care to get a DNA test you guys because like I truly believed that this was my daughter and that it was just gonna cause so much drama um, I had mentioned to London's mom before I would like to get DNA tests and she would always trip on me and I always didn't I always explain to my family like I just didn't understand because like I would specifically tell her I, I'm not trying to come off disrespectful in any means necessary like I truly believe that this is my daughter but for you it's like you had her you know what I'm saying you had you pushed her out you know what I'm saying I watched you push this baby out I literally sat there and held somebody else's baby mom hand and took care of this girl I provided for this girl I literally you know what I'm saying glorified how dope of a mom she was you hear all of that guys he puts her on a pedestal he wife her um, it seems as if the girl mom know you're not the father too you're successful on this YouTube shit you're making money and all of that stuff so any female would do that if you ask some female not any i'm not going to say any but most females would think that they need to have this lifestyle would accept that because he said he asked the mom and the mom mad that he asked he said people dm him sometimes i would ignore it too because a lot of people dm me stuff about my wife and i'm pretty sure they dm her stuff about me you feel me but at the same time that crosses his mind and he had also wondering why this child don't have some form of you know, genetics genes that belongs to him. And um, it's sad. And he's hurt. He's hurt. He said he asked her multiple times, multiple times, are you sure you weren't dealing with someone around the same time we get together? And she denied. But this is what I always say. They're not going to tell you unless you know the truth. And I learned this not just with one relationship, but with multiple relationships. Females don't admit to nothing unless they're 100% sure you know the truth. If you don't know the truth and they want to admit to something, they're going to tell you part of the truth, partially. But if you don't know the truth, they're never going to admit to it. And I could say the same for a guy too. So don't think I'm just bashing females. This situation is the female, guys. So I don't want y'all to feel like Ray. And I'm always against stuff like this. Like... If I raise a child and she, and, and she becomes 18 year old and give me back all my money I spent. All of that. You don't play with me. You don't hurt me. You don't do that to me. Females don't do that. And you know, they said in Jamaica, one of the ice rate is um, a lot of guys father child that they're not the real biological father to. You feel me? Anyways, let's continue. Um... It sucks. It really does. But like, 
basically what happened is uh so i asked her about this dude right multiple i asked her if she just had anybody multiple times she always said no always got mad when i would ask about a dna test always acted like if you don't believe that it's your daughter then just don't be posting her don't be trying to like involve her in your shit and like i just never understood it because like why would he not do it i mean it's his father but you mean don't post it see that's and she knew this she knew this. Every single embarrassment that comes with this, she deserved it. Every single one. I was always trying to come off. My intentions was always good, but I felt like she took my approach the wrong way. And which was like fucked up because like, I had all right. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, I had all right to think like, like, let me, like, why can't I get a DNA test? Like, I, like, for me, it's like, yeah, like, I know I messed with you and I might have slipped up, but it's like, I don't know what you was doing, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't dating. Like, we wasn't dating, we wasn't messing with each other consistently. Like, this was a one, two, three time thing. Like, I don't know if, and come to find out, you had a whole ass ex, you had a whole ass boyfriend the whole time, and all this time I've been asked for a whole year. The, London is about to be four months. So from finding out, you know what I'm saying, a year and a month ago that you were pregnant to now, you denied the fact that there could be any type of possibility. And to me, that's like, to me it hurts the most because it's so like, it's so grimy as fuck, like. Yeah. And I, you know what, I think he would have probably, if she had said, you know what, there's a possibility this child might not be yours, I think he would probably still stick around. I know, that's the energy I get from him. Females tell the truth all the time. That's all you gotta do. You wouldn't go through this embarrassment, none of that stuff, you know, tell the truth all the time. I don't wish nobody bad. I don't wish nobody like the worst, but it's like, Damn, bro, like I literally was living in LA. I was doing good. I had a penthouse in Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? I had a little little girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knew we, I was doing good, like I was straight. And I literally dropped everything just to move back so that I could not be a Debbie and like I could really step up to the plate. And now I'm thinking about I did that without even knowing it was my daughter. Like, I know a lot of niggas that, would, that don't even do that for kids that they know are theirs. That's true. That is true. And that is why this man feels so much pain, because he gave up everything. Penthouse, living that nice life, all of that stuff, to make sure he's a part of this child's life. And you, the female, she knows he, he's not the father. And she didn't. And her mom too. And you see some of these grimy stuff these females be doing. If I'm if 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 I'm with you, I'm, I'm and I love you to the point. Let's say my wife do some grimy stuff like that to me. I'm cutting off everybody because everybody know. Your mother know. Your sister know. Your brother know. Everybody for you gone because they know and they didn't tell me and they let me play the fool. So that's what he's going through, and it's sad. But that's what I'll do. I mean. I love everybody, but thank God, God bless me with a woman like Chrissy, where not only that she loves me, but she demonstrates it, and I think she's she would have said something to me. I think she would have done that. That's what I think. But who knows? You never know. Don't swear for a human being, but at the end of the day, I love my wife. I love my wife, family. But y'all do some grimy shit. <laughs> And it's like, for me, it's like, fuck. Like, I really played, like, I was really a dumb ball. Like, what the fuck? Like, nigga moved back from LA, dropped a whole dope ass relationship to. Dude, you sound like you miss your ex, though. But yo, you're not a, you're not, you're not a fool for that, though, bro. You thought this child was literally yours. So you're, you're gonna do what is right by that child. So there's nothing wrong with what you did. You gave up everything to be a part of that child's life and make sure you're not a deadbeat dad. So ain't nothing wrong with what you did. Don't feel bad for her. If anything, the female should feel bad. She should feel bad for giving up a good man like you to a child. Or a father, that the father that you'd be towards her and the man you'd be towards her. Both, you know, London and the, the, the mother. That's what I think.
So don't be mad about that stuff. What y'all think? Y'all think she, no, don't be mad about that stuff. We'll get back on track. I posted a video basically saying like, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to get a DNA test. It was supposed to be a part two. The part two was basically me opening up, was gonna be me opening up this gen, this DNA test so that I could just rub it in everybody's faces so that they could just shut the fuck up. Stop trying to say that I don't look like my daughter. Stop trying to say I'm not the dad. You know what I'm saying? For this random ass person that DM me to, if it was the ex-boyfriend or whatever, tell me get off my dick put the video i i set the camera up and uh i was supposed to you know what i'm saying just rubbing everybody's face and was crazy <laughs> you see what happened guys so he was concerned about what everybody was saying about him and him not looking like that child and all of that stuff but that didn't matter to him in terms of if he was the father because he believed he was playing the father role he left where he was and just to be in this child, give up everything. So he just wanted to rub it in the audience's face and say, yo, listen, I'm the father. So y'all could stop saying that now on my video. When you see me post my daughter, don't be... Because sometimes these comments can be so harsh, you know, and that's the reality. People sometimes just say things that don't even matter to them or say things that they're not even living a better life than you or your spouse, but they'll say some things acting like they're holy or they're made from, you know, never get never wrong perfectly you know all of that stuff so he wanted to do that with his video what happened the truth i guess he never thought that the possibility of him not being a father would you know well, let's move on is i'm about to show you guys this clip the camera cut out but this was this little four minute clip or whatever was when i just went over to my mom's crib on monday and was the day that I found out, I literally held this email so that I wouldn't open it until I got to my family's crib. Just because, you know what I'm saying, I knew it was like kind of like a sensitive topic and my mom didn't really want me to open on camera, but I just, I thought, I honestly truly thought it was gonna come back as my daughter and that's why I did this video the way I did. So here you go. Before we watch the video, I could sense that his mom was in his ears too that this child might not be yours. So his mom was in his ears and then the female mom was against him wanting to do that DNA. But I mean, he a vlogger and uh, one of the reasons like he said was because everybody was saying this and he want to shut them up. And I mean, but his mom, they say mom knows best. So if your mom says something sometimes, listen. So let's watch this video when he open it up. The video, a video that was supposed to be the vlog to shut y'all up. Cash on me, like I hit the lottery. Well, you don't think I should open it on camera? That's uh -huh. up to you. Uh, it doesn't matter what you think, man. I don't think you. He's nervous. Boy, you're nervous. You had some doubts too. I can tell. He had some doubts, and I mean. If you didn't have any doubt, then you wouldn't have done a DNA. We are here I mean, to support we're, we're you. Here. Yeah, we're, we're here, here to support, support you. But if you want to get on camera, I'm gonna it. just open it up and I'm not gonna say nothing. And then how about I sit in this little baby chair, maybe? No, that'll just be good superstition. You're trying to come around my shoulder so you no, can I'm see. Not. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm scared. Come on, boys. You heard that? His mom said. I'm going outside. I'm scared. So guys, y'all could spot the difference in a child from birth. All right. I mean, one year old, you should be able to see the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, one year old, but at birth, I wouldn't be able to. But <sighs> ah, boy. Three. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't even know how to understand this. He confused because he spots something. Don't be confused. It's what it is. 
I don't even know how to read this. Do you want me to read it? To you? Do you want me to look? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What does probability of paternity mean? The probability that you're her father. The probability. Guys, when I, um... When I had to pass the, the citizenship, um, citizenship to my daughter, um, the immigration had wanted one because me and Chrissy, we weren't married at the time. So any child that born out of wedlock, they're going to want you to do a DNA. No, you could, if you're married to a girl and then she gives a jacket, you can't, you don't need no DNA. So that jacket, they can slide. But um, when I was giving one of my daughters the citizenship, I had to um, do a test. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, um, I opened up, I opened up that video and, uh, or I opened up, I opened up the email and found out that, uh, you know what I'm saying, it says 0%, just as the alleged father that's cook is not the father in these cases, blah, 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 and the names all little genes that you're not of London D or cook. So when I found this out, um... I texted her mom and I said, uh, come get your daughter. You know what I'm saying? I you hear what he said? He texted the mom and said, come get your daughter. No, guys, this is a question that I want to ask all of y'all, mostly females. No, not even females. I want some of the, the males to answer. Um, since he has already been involved in this child's life, you think he should have just stepped out just like that? You think he should have just, you know what, still be that child father? Or the child is young enough not to know what's going on. So the pain that is being felt is only him and between the female, which is the, the mother. Because if that child was probably like eight, seven, you know, it would be so hard. But the child is like a year old or something like that. So, is it safe to say the child is not aware of what's going on or the bond has already, has already been made? I don't know. What y'all think? Tell me what y'all think. I was mad. I'm going to be straight up. I was super mad. I had London at the time, which is crazy. Um, I had London at the time, and I just texted her. I said, come get your daughter, and she started calling me, and to me, it was like, you don't know if I was saying come get your daughter as in like, she didn't know I was opening up the DNA test. So you don't know if I was saying come get your daughter as in like, you know what I'm saying, what it is. And she started bought, like crying, call, calling me, calling me, calling me. I finally asked her like 10th call over and over. I really didn't want to talk to her because I was like, like I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. Like I really have so much negative thoughts towards this girl. Like I, I even, I blocked her on everything. She's not having no type of words with me ever again. That's what she deserves. I don't want to hear your explanation. I don't want to hear nothing. Because if you listen earlier and he said, he asked her, um, have you been in any relationship while we are together? When we just got started, you know? And she said no, numerous of times. So she had her chance to be honest. So him blocking her and everything is the right go. Because she probably going to want to call, explain, tell her, tell her how sorry she is. Nah. Not trying to hear all of that. Not trying to hear all of that. Um, and uh, basically, what happened is she called me and she asked me. She said, "What happened?" And I said, "I opened up the DNA test, and uh, I went up the DNA test is awesome. This is not my daughter." And I said, "I love this little girl, but I need you to come get her." And she said. She said, what are you talking about? And she just started crying. She just started like huffing and puffing and bawling, right? Um, she asked me, what did she ask? And she said, tell me you're lying. Tell me you're lying. I said, no, I'm not lying. Like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck? Like, tell, like, tell me you're not lying. You know what I'm saying? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you just lied to me about 
for a whole year, you basically just lied to me about the biggest factor of my whole fucking life. Like, that is true. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, but it's a possibility she didn't know when she was with somebody while she was with him. Straight up. So that in itself, and she, know, she, she, she knew she had unprotected sex with that person, if that's the case. So that in itself, she has some form of knowledge. I don't care what none of y'all say. She has some form of knowledge that, yo, listen, this could be a possibility that this child is not this man's. And she never indicates, she never step forward, she never come out and say, or be honest about it. Because what? She planned to bring that to her grave. And she planned to let that man father that child for the rest of eternity. But look at God. He knows all the work. He finds out. But I mean, I'm still puzzled though. What should he have done? The biggest thing that's happened to me in my whole fucking life. And it was a straight lie. Straight dud. Like, whoa. So... Uh, so then she says, I'm going to call you back. And I said, okay. And she called me back and she says, how long are you going to be over there at the crib? I said, I don't know. Why the fuck, like, why the fuck does that matter? And she said, okay, well, my mom's coming to get me. I'm going to come get London. So, all right, good. So I left. So I gave London, uh, me and my family and all of us, we stood there and we all gave London like a big hug big kisses and shit it's crazy because there's literally a poster right here you guys of london i just keep looking at it and i haven't i didn't even realize that until now uh the one where she's wearing my chain and we gave her like one last one last kiss one last hug you know what i'm saying like it's the hardest thing because it's like it's almost like losing it's almost like losing somebody you know what i'm saying like feel some type of way though. You have to feel some type of way. I don't know. What are your thoughts? One last kiss, the family there. I bet he started crying, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It is losing somebody, but I'm saying like, it's like almost like someone died like it sucks like it's like you can't do nothing about it I can't be in her life even if I wanted to because I have no right I'm not her dad you know what I'm saying and she's gonna have to grow up probably not even knowing who the fuck I was you know what I'm saying her mom probably not even gonna tell her <laughs> she's not gonna tell her she's not gonna be like oh so when you were just born you know I had this great man in your life that was supposed to be your father and he never and I messed up so no and um, but the question you asked, well, what you can't be? There's no way you could be in that child's life. If it is that you wanted to be in that child's life, you could have. You and the mom could have worked it out. You know, she tell you what she needs to tell you, and y'all move past it. Who knows? And guys, let me tell y'all something. Don't ever try to step into someone's relationship and bash one of the partners because you never know. Two weeks on the line, two years on the line, they may not get back, and you will look stupid. But for now, he's hurt. You never know. He might love her so much. He want to be a part of her life. You feel me? So, let's see. You know what, guys? I'm not going to watch out the entire video. Y'all get the concept of what happened and what took place. Tell me what y'all think. If you were in that situation, what would you do? Do you agree with what he did? So, you know, come and get your child. Don't want to be in the child's life. Um, do block the mom on every social media platform or would you have given that child a chance and given the mom a chance and what do you think about the the, 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 the female you think she's dead dead wrong for that um, I know that a lot of a lot of persons that might have happened to and I don't know what y'all think tell me what y'all think